Hi, we're going to be working on lesson number one from topic two. Our goal for this lesson, um, I can tell if a group of objects is even or odd. Um, some things I want you to remember that you've already learned. Um, I want you to think back to when we talked about doubles and near doubles. Um, I'm going to draw out um, the equations for some doubles. So 1 plus 1 has a sum of 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 3 plus 3 is 6, 4 plus 4 is 8, 5 plus 5 is 10. Now these are all equations that you should have memorized. Um, 6 plus 6 is 12, 7 plus 7 is 14, 8 plus 8 has a sum of 16, 9 plus 9 has a sum of 18, and 10 plus 10 has a sum of 20. Um, I wanted to have this out. These are all, remember, these are doubles facts. Um, doubles facts, remember that means that the add-ends are the same. So these both have the same add-end of 1, these both have the same add-end of 5, these have the same add-end of 8, that's what makes them a doubles fact. So look closely at the sums here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All of these doubles facts have a sum that is an even number. So if you're trying to decide if something is even or odd, think about if there is a related doubles fact that you know. Um, that can also help you. Something else that you can notice about the doubles facts is that in the ones place, there's either a two, four, six, eight, or it will have the number zero. Um, it'll have the digit of zero in the ones place. So same pattern over here, two, four, six, eight, and a zero in the ones place. That'll help you to know about the number of, um, if the number, I'm sorry, is even or odd. So just to like kind of remind you, I don't know why I always pick green. Green does not erase. Um, but just to kind of remind you about that a little bit um, before we talk about if something is even or if something is odd. Um, for odd numbers, what I want you to remember a lot that we've already talked about, remember, um, are some near doubles facts. Um, so such as 6 plus 7 has a sum of 13. That was a near doubles. Near doubles also have um, a sum that is going to be odd. Odd numbers have in the ones digit a 1, a 3, a 5, a 7, or a 9. That's kind of what the pattern ends up being. Um, if I was to have 13 objects and I want to see if I can put them into two equal groups, um, Pretend you have two plates. This is kind of going to be the way that we're going to, to look at that. Um, if I have 13 groups, I want to see if the, I can put the same number on each of these plates. One over here, one over here. So that's one, two. And I like to try to count these out loud so that I don't accidentally forget something. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. I can't put one over here because I don't have any more. So this plate would have 7. This plate has 6. 7 and 6 does not split into two equal groups. The number 13 is odd. I have one more over here and I don't have another one for this guy. Um, if I was to put these in cubes, which is what we're going to see a lot of in our um, example problems on our lesson, um, if I was to have a set of one, two, three, four, five, six cubes, and another set, I'm gonna have to make this one a little bit longer, of seven cubes, I would see that they're not the same length. This one has seven, this one has six. The endpoints are lined up, and I have one extra in that bottom row. Um, near doubles are going to be odd. Remember, they're going to have a 1, 3, 5, 7, or a 9 in the ones place. That'll be a clue, but you're still going to have to do a lot of modeling in order to determine if something is an even or an odd number. Um, looking a little bit about what you are going to be asked to do for this lesson um, and kind of what, what you're going to have to determine, um, 
let's talk about skip counting. Um, something that you learned in kindergarten was to skip count by um, tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Um, you've also learned a lot about skip counting by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, but for this topic, topic two, lesson one, I want you to think about the skip counting that you know how to do by counting by twos. Um, so if I was to count by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I'm going to just stop with, with that. If I can skip count by twos um, to that number. Let's say if I wanted to know about the number 24, if I can skip count by twos and get to that number, then I know that it's even. All of these numbers that we've written here are even numbers. If I wanted to draw out 18 and figure out if I could put it into two equal groups, um, I know that I would have enough that each person would have the same amount. I know that I would have two even sticks of cubes. I know that I would have two even numbers of items on each plate. So let's try this number 18 and determine if it's even. Um, one, and you might be thinking in your head, hey, I already know that nine plus nine is 18. That would be great. You would already know that nine needs to go on this plate and nine needs to go on this plate. Um, and that would be how you would model the number of 18 to prove that it's even. We're gonna pretend like maybe you forgot that just so we can show this, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So if I was to go back and count how many um, little dots that I put on each of these plates, um, I would have 18. I could look at the number of dots and I know that there are nine on this plate. There should also be nine over here. If I counted a different number besides nine, then I would need to go back because that wouldn't make sense. Because this number of um, items on this plate and the number of items on this plate should have a sum of 18 when I add them together. So nine plus nine does have a sum of 18. Here's my evidence that the number 18 is even. If I put them into groups, they are in equal groups with no leftovers. Um, so that's how I know that the number 18 is even. Um, let's talk a little bit about odd numbers. Odd numbers, you cannot split into two equal groups. So the number, I'm sorry, if something is odd, it means that it can not split into equal groups. So let's look at the number seven. You have seven cupcakes. That's a lot of cupcakes, but you guys really want to eat cupcakes, you and your best friend. So you're having a cupcake eating contest, and you want to see if you can split those seven cupcakes equally between the two of you. So we're going to put one cupcake on your plate and one for your friend. So that's two, three, and four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're out of cupcakes. Um, there are four on this and three on the other. Four and three are not equal. So this number seven is odd. You can't split it equally among the two people, um, so it is odd. Um, numbers that are odd have a one, a three, a five, a seven, or a nine in the ones place. So any number like that I tell you, like the number 11, the number 15, the number 29, all I really need to look at is the ones place. So the number 11 has a one in the ones place, so I know that it is odd. The number 15 has a five in the ones place, so that I know automatically it is odd. The number 29 has a nine in this ones place, I know that it is odd. If I had the number 28, it has an eight in 
the ones place, two, four, six, eight. Since I can count by twos to get to that eight, I know that that number has to be even. If I was to draw it out into two equal groups, I would have the, the same number of 14 in each of those groups. Um, that's something that you're going to learn a lot more um, as we keep practicing this. Um, your goal for today is to understand the difference between if a number is even or a number is odd. If you want, you can go ahead and just jot down these numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Um, you can write it on your paper or a scratch paper or something like that. But knowing and referencing that is going to help it to just kind of get stuck into your head where you can look at any number that you see and decide if it's even or if it is odd. Remember, even numbers, you can skip count by twos to get to it. Um, your doubles facts are all having sums that are even. Um, odd, if you were to split them into equal groups, it would not work. You cannot make an equal group with an odd number. Um, anything else that I think I should tell you? Um, let's look at this. So there are going to be a lot of things um, that you'll see popping up. Most of them are going to have cubes in them. Um, I can't really, I don't have cubes at my house. One, two, three, four, five. Let's just make one that's longer than that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know how many that is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. So there are eight in this stick and there are five in this stick. I'm going to just write that at the end. Um, these are not in equal groups. Um, I don't really think this is a good example. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to just leave this as a six. If I was trying to split something into equal groups and then I have five in the top group and six in the bottom group, I would know that this number, five plus the six, which is 11, I would know that 11 has to be odd. If I was trying to split them into two equal groups, like on my plates, if I had five on one of my plates and six on the other one, five and six are not the same number, so it's not equal. It's odd. Um, so you're going to have like sticks and there are cubes. Um, for each of those, you're going to have to decide what the equation is that matches that. Um, if the sticks are the same length, then it's going to be even. Um, it's going to be even. If they're different lengths, then it's going to be odd. Make sure that the endpoints are lined up. So if you had a stick and there are one, two, three, and then the next stick below it also has three, these are, the number six is even. But the equation that I would write is three plus three equals six, and I would say that this is even. Um, if there were four in this one, my equation, and notice how I'm putting the number at the end, it makes it a lot easier for me to, um, to remember when I'm writing my equation. My equation would be three plus four, 3 plus 4 has a sum of 7. I could also go back and count all of these. Um, this is a near doubles fact, so it's something that you should know pretty quickly. Um, 3 plus 4 is 7. I know that this one, um, over in this column, I'm sorry, in this row, means that it is going to be odd. They're not the same. They're not equal. It's odd. Um, at the top, I would have the number seven. This is a model of the number seven. Um, you've got this. It's not that hard. If you get confused, think about if you can skip count by twos to get to that number, and that'll really help you as well.